I'm Michelle Phillips and I'm a Google for Education certified trainer. This video is going to talk about the Google Sheet skills needed to do well on the Google Educator exams, both level one and level two. In level one, we're going to look at the skills of creating a Google Sheet, using different functions, sorting data, and sharing sheets with others. To create a Google Sheets document, go to the New button and select Google Sheets. Now let's look at a math scores spreadsheet to use the functions for sum and average. When you have a data set, you can use functions to calculate your desired data. So if we have a data set of students and there are three test scores and we wanted to get the sum of, for each student of those test scores, we could then click in the first box and we would go to insert function. We would want to insert sum and then we would highlight what we want from test one to test three for the first student and then hit enter. To continue that function down more rows, you would then go to the box in the bottom right until you get the plus sign and then drag it down and it will do that for all of them. Let's say we wanted to find out the average for all the students of test one. We could then click in the box underneath test one Go to insert function and select average and then select the boxes that we want the average of, hit enter and we would get the average grade for test one. If we want to sort our data, you would highlight the data that you want to sort. If it is a very large spreadsheet and you want to select all the data, you would select this top left empty box and it will highlight the entire table. When you go to data, and let's say we want to sort range. We want to make sure to designate that we have a header row so that it stays at the top. Then you have to decide what you want to sort by. So in this case, let's sort by last name. And we want last name to A to Z. And then we click sort. So Amy Barnett's, her test scores and the sum of her test scores will all be in the first row. So the data is moving with the name. Now, if you were to select one column, and we'll notice 55, 73, and 86 is Barnett's. If we go to data, sort range, and then we just do it by column B, and let's say Z to A, none of the data moved, just the names. So make sure that you have the data selected. When you want to share a sheet with others, go to the blue share button and you can then decide whether you want to give one person or more people specific editing, commenting, or viewing rights, or you can choose advanced and change your settings so that it can be public on the web where others can search it, so they can have the link, or whether you want to keep it inside your domain. You can also share a document by going to File and selecting Share, and the same options will appear. So the level one skills we've just gone over are creating a Google Sheet, using functions, sorting data, and sharing sheets with others. Now let's take a look at the level two skills. We're going to create a chart or a graph, create a pivot table, use functions, import data sets, and use spark lines. When you first open the chart editor, you'll get recommendations. If you click on chart types, then you can see the line charts, graphs, area, columns, bar graphs, pie charts, you'll notice some of them, because of the way the data is selected, it can't create these, which is why they're grayed out. You can create scatter charts. If you keep moving down, there are others. For example, a sparkline chart. And if you click on it and it says you can't do it, it's because the data that you've selected won't work. So like this one says all columns must be numeric. So for a sparkline, you'd have to arrange the data in a different way. So then let's try insert chart, go to chart types, go down to spark line, and you can see that it's going to give you a spark line chart. Other types of charts that you might want to be aware of are radar charts and motion charts. Now let's look at a different type of spreadsheet. This spreadsheet has a lot of data in it. And, it, and it's different types of data as well. To create a pivot table, 
So once you've selected all of the data, you're going to go to the data menu and select pivot table at the bottom. We want our pivot table to answer the question, what is the total amount sold by each salesperson? So what we're going to do is add salesperson into the rows area. And then we're going to add order amount into the values area. We can then summarize by different things. We're going to just keep it at sum. And then we can see that in column A, and because it's ascending, that they are in alphabetical order. And then if we want to know the total amount that each person sold, we'll see their amounts here. It also shows us a grand total. So if we want to know who made the most, we can then sort by sum or order amount. And then we would see that the person that made the least amount is on top and the person who made the most is on the bottom. You'll also notice that it created a separate tab on the spreadsheet, so your original results are still there. You also want to be aware for level two that the different functions that you can choose from. So for functions, these are the main ones that are used the most, but there are more. And a whole list can be found in the Google support area. You can also import data sets and spreadsheets by going to File and then selecting Import. And then you can look in your drive or you can upload from your computer. For level two, we have gone over how to create a chart or a graph. We've looked at pivot tables, functions, how to import data sets, and to use sparklines. For more tips, go to my website at techinaction.com.